come to me. Finally, we're alone. Wait, my wife is on the plane. She's stupid. She won't notice anything. We've been dating under her nose for a year now. I've been cheating on my wife since our wedding day. I never liked any, but I loved her bank account. It's so great that we'll get rid of her in three hours. Oh, it turns me on even more. My mistress and I came up with an insidious plan to take all my wife's money and send her to jail. Distract her, so I can plant our present. But I had no idea what a nightmare this story would turn out to be for me. In the meantime, I was lying straight to Annie's face. Honey, I dropped my wedding ring in the bathroom. Help me find it. While my wife was diligently looking for the ring, the flight attendant put an illegal substance in Annie's bag. Found it. Baby, be careful next time. But I knew that there would be no next time. As soon as my wife returned to her place, the flight attendant and I decide to have fun in the bathroom. Your wife will leave the airport in handcuffs. And we will go to the best hotel by the ocean. Back in my seat, I wanted to celebrate my victory. Darling, where have you been for so long? I can't wait to land. Buy me some champagne, so it's not so boring. Eddie fulfilled my whim once again, not knowing that I was celebrating the end of her life. Pour me some more. I want to have fun. Suddenly, the hot flight attendant spilled champagne on me. As an apology, I can offer you a business class seat. But I'd like to sit next to my husband. Ma'am, there is only one business class seat left. Okay, honey. For your comfort, I will sit for the rest of the flight alone. This tummy pushed me into the arms of my mistress herself. Oh, I brilliantly thought this through. Finally, the plane has landed. I was a moment away from freedom when suddenly the customs service let my wife through. Sir, check your bags. Darling, what do you mean? I could no longer hold back my hatred for my wife. Shut up, you vile criminal. Sir, I saw a strange box in her bag. And then she behaved rarely on board. The customs officer took the dog to my wife's bag and checked everything again. Here's the box. Open it. I was petrified. There was just candy inside. Disappointed, honey? You underestimated me. Suddenly, the dog started barking at me, and the custom officers searched my pockets. Here is your box. You are clearly out of your mind. Then my wife leaned over and whispered to me. I have known that you have been cheating on me for a long time. A couple of thousand dollars and your mistress was on my side. At that moment, I remembered that I had taken my jacket off on the plane when I was having fun in the bathroom with a flight attendant. That's when she put the forbidden substance in my pocket. Sweetheart! A flight attendant set me up. I hoped Annie would fall for my lies again. But my wife 
was unwavering. What goes around comes around. Goodbye. And the customs officer put the handcuffs on me. And at that moment, the flight attendant came up to us. A bastard like you should be in jail. My mistress gloated, not knowing that would happen in a minute. I kept my end of the bargain. Will you pay me in cash or by card? Suddenly, the customs officer handcuffed her too. What's happening? Let me go! Immediately! We've been informed that you brought illegal substance on board. Lies? I have nothing to do with this! I'm sure that many passengers saw you rummaging in my bag. My mistress and I were blinded by greed and didn't even notice how we fell into the trap that we set for my stupid wife. A boomerang returns to the person who throws it. Thank <laughs> you.